Hey guys, it's Jessica here coming with another video. This one is a apartment mystery shopping video and follow up to the video I did a couple of months back, I think actually six months ago, <laughs> um, about my experience as an apartment mystery shopper with a company called Ellis Partners in Management Solutions or EPMS for short. I've um, did a lot of shops with them and got paid for it without having to put up money up front because it's apartment mystery shopping versus you spending to buy an actual product in the store. So anyway, I had a viewer ask me about how to get started, like how to actually, you know, um, get started with that first call. So in her case, I'll link her channel somewhere uh, because she's also a YouTuber on here, I noticed, uh, which is pretty cool. Um, check out her videos. <laughs> but um, basically, she was just asking about what to do after signing up. So she has her account already. And now she just has to get started and wants a little motivation. Um, for me, it's super easy. Obviously, the first time you do anything is going to be the hardest <laughs> because you're just needing to go ahead and do it. So that's my first tip. Just go ahead and take the punch. Now, there's a few things I recommend you do beforehand. Um, and that is to just read all the information that EPMS provides about the shop. So they will actually provide you a shopper story. Um, so this includes information about what you're looking for. So if you're looking for a one bedroom apartment versus a two bedroom apartment or the timeline that you're looking for. So those are some of the things to consider. I actually have a list of things that you should expect someone to ask you when you make your first call. Okay, I have my blanket because it is freezing in New York today. Um, I say freezing is probably in the 40s um, in degrees uh, Fahrenheit, but I'm dramatic. So, so basically the phone conversation will go something like this once you have identified the shop you want to go to and you have that number that EPMS provides you to make your recorded conversation. So just a note, the call will be recorded. You will not be just calling from your phone. So normally what I would like to do anytime I get my phone number verified, I would just say, oh, you know, actually you can use my cell phone. That number is whatever, whatever, whatever. So just a tip there, you are using a number that is going to be used by them. I also recommend recording the call yourself because you will be able to go into the system to access part of that recorded phone conversation for your report later on that you will complete. So I would normally record with just my laptop. Um, yeah, so anyway, I'll get started with my mod call. So ring, ring, ring. Hello, welcome to Happy Place Apartment Community. My name is Jess, how can I help you today? They'll say something like that. And so you'll say, you know, hi, I'm looking for one bedroom apartment or hi, I'm looking at your apartment community or something like that, pretty general. The leasing agent drives that conversation. So it's just as if you were looking for an apartment in any other situation, you're just responding to them, their questions, asking any questions you have and, Really, as a leasing agent, their goal should be, one, to inform you about the apartment community, to learn about what your needs are as a potential resident, and to sell you on their property and get you to come on site to view that property. So that's their goal. Your goal is also to get them to invite you to come on site to view the property so you can complete the shop. <laughs> so um, they should be answering with the community name and their name. And you should be noting their name because you will need that to make sure that you're shopping the right person when you get there. And then also for your report at the end of your shop. So a couple of things are gonna ask you is just normal things that any leasing agent will ask. What kind of apartment are you looking for? One bedroom, two bedroom, three bedroom. Um, what's your move-in date? <laughs> Typically, this is going to be two to four weeks out. They'll note that in your shopper story through EPMS. What's your lease term? And then they'll probably provide some pricing options, like if you do a 12-month lease versus a 15-month lease. 
um, number of occupants. Do you have any pets? And then your reason for moving and how you actually found out about the place. Now for me, my reason for moving was always something about like work, trying to be closer to work. When I started apartment mystery shopping, I was looking for an apartment and that was my reason <laughs> because I wanted to be somewhere that was closer to my new job. Um, so just pick something, just make sure you're consistent with the same story. So have your shopper story ready and just make it like a normal conversation as if you were looking for an apartment. Super easy, super easy, I promise. Um, and then as far as answering how you heard about the community, what you don't wanna say is any specific site online. So you wouldn't say, oh, I saw you on rent.com because maybe they're not on rent.com. <laughs> maybe they're on another um, site or maybe they no longer have a listing there. You just don't wanna put yourself out there and they may think now that you might be a mystery shopper. Um, what I would normally say is, oh, I saw you online. I don't really remember where. Um, I've been making a list of different places I want to check out today. I would just say that. Um, something else to keep in mind is you do want to make the call when you can actually go view the property. So sometimes in the requirements, you may need to see that place that same day. Other times, it's probably fine for you to just do it the next day. A lot of times the leasing agent would try to get you to come that same day. So for me, I normally would make my calls on a Friday or a Saturday when I have more time available to actually go and see the unit. So Friday morning, I normally had afternoons off on Friday so I could just go later or Saturday I would call in the morning and just have pretty much all day, <laughs> depending on what I was doing, to go see the property. Um, keep in mind that, again, you're gonna be pulling out a report based on that phone conversation. There are specific things that lease and agents need to say. So they've been trained to greet customers a certain way um, and to actually ask specific questions and to sell the apartment community in a certain way. So just kind of take note of all of that. I'll make another video about what to do when you're actually on site, <laughs> when you go visit the property, if you guys are interested. Um, but otherwise, those are the main things that I would recommend doing and just being prepared to do during your phone conversation. Again, you'll have like literally, um, let me see, you will have, and I just got logged out. Anyway, you'll have specific information about the property, what you should be saying, anything that you should avoid saying from the portal. And you can also take a look at the report. Um, I can make a video on how to find that, but you can actually see the report that you will be completing and that will give you a better idea of what you should be asking. Um, a couple other things to keep in mind is that there's a reason that this company has hired EPMS to have mystery shoppers at their leasing community. So what EPMS does is they're a part of their business is to train leasing professionals. So your job as a mystery shopper is helping to make sure that leasing agents are properly trained. You're helping to ensure that there are no discriminatory practices happening on site at that property or during that phone conversation to discourage potential <laughs> residents of certain backgrounds, which I think is really important. And you're also just helping the community get information about their property. Like, is it a place that people actually want to reside or is it not? And if so, or if not, why? <laughs> so you're being able to provide all that background and information that they would not have otherwise. And you're able to help make sure that their leasing staff are properly trained and doing things in the right way. So no need to feel bad or like feel weird about the whole um you know mystery shopping thing it's super easy just act like if you were looking for an apartment what would you want to do so if you're on the phone you know ask questions you know if you do have a pet oh do you have like a dog part just curious what you don't want to do is just say i only want x y and z like if Let's say you were to be asked, what kind of amenities are you looking for? Well, I have to have a gym on site. Well, what if that place doesn't have a gym? Then if they're not a great leasing professional, they may not 
offer you to come on site. They may just go, oh, well, we don't really have a gym. If you really need that, this won't be the place for you. <laughs> so um, obviously if they're good leasing professional, they'll try to sell you on other aspects, but you may get someone that's newer and they may not offer you on site and then you may be in a stickier situation um, of how to complete that shop. <laughs> so um, just kind of keep that in mind. Don't be too um, stringent on what you're looking for. Don't say like, I have to have this if you know the property doesn't have it. I also recommend just checking out the community a little bit. Um, you know, if you know there's hardwood floors or if you know there's washer and dryers on site, you can say like, oh, you know, ideally I want this um, or just ask them if they have it. Um, what else do I recommend? Those are the main things. I mean, just have fun, enjoy, be conversational, um, and just make sure that you are recording your conversations as well, because I promise you, it will make your time filling out the report in the end a lot easier where you're not like sitting there going, what was this person saying? What did they say? Did they ask me that? Like I was during my first, <laughs> um, mystery shop it was kind of rough but um you get used to it the first one is challenging just get started just try it the worst that can happen is maybe it doesn't go that well and what you wasted maybe five minutes not a big deal just go for it do the shops it's super easy if you have questions let me know and i hope this video is helpful if you are just getting started if you signed up for epms um, and you're trying to make a little extra income uh, i think it's a great way to do it and let me know if you have questions. I am happy to help. Otherwise, I will wrap up this video, but thank you for your time. And thank you, thank you, thank you to the person that asked the question about uh, mystery shops and how to get started. Uh, again, I will link that person's name in the about section. And if I can put it in this video, I will. Thank you, thank you. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed, definitely subscribe if you like this kind of content. Or if you're looking for jobs, I post regular content about companies that are hiring each month and also tips for interviews, resumes. It was nice chatting with you. Have a good day. Bye.